Hi, old Steelock here. Uh, I'm talking today about some tools that I picked up. It's a new thing. We're going to try the slideshow, see how that works. Uh, I wanted to build a workbench, a woodworking bench. One of the things that I thought that I needed for the woodworking bench was a vise. And I found this vise screw sitting alongside the road in a, a little bird north of here and decided that I wanted to pick it up. But they're only open for, on Fridays and Saturdays from 10 to 4. So yesterday I, I drove up there and picked up the uh, screw vise and at the same time I found this uh, screw vise uh, screw just sitting next to it. So when I talked to the guy about buying the, the leg vise, he uh, threw in the screw vise because it's got a broken nut. Not a bad deal. On the way home, I stopped at a garage sale and while I was there, I found this little packet of layout tools, not much to them, but a nice set of dividers in there. Uh, I also found a Craig face uh, frame jig. Looks like it needs to have a special little drill in order to make the thing work. Because it's got to have an extra tool, I might not ever use it, but it was a dollar and they're usually a lot more than that, so I figured it was worth the time to pick it up. Uh, then you can see in the next picture more stuff about the uh, layout tool. boxes contain water stones. Uh, they're made by the King Company out of Japan. Uh, they're sold through Amazon and traditional woodworking tools. Uh, these look to be a little bit older than the ones that I saw on the website. Uh, as you can see, the top stone is pretty well chewed up. Looks like somebody tried to use it without water. Uh, not a good plan. Doesn't work very well. Uh, the bottom stone, they used it a little bit, but evidently not much because it's still got the sticker on it. So I did a little looking and the bottom stone is a thousand grit. Uh, the stone that you see on the left now is a six thousand grit. I uh, probably did a really nice job of sharpening if you used a little water on it. It said in the description that it needed to have water to create a slurry and the slurry was what did the polishing. It's glued to a little piece of what looked like mahogany and uh, I got an email from one of the guys who said that he tried to remove the mahogany and ended up cracking the stone, so I think I'll leave it on there. I'm going to have to flatten this bucket though. I think I'll get some silicon carbide sandpaper and grind it off on a stone that I have. 